Hello and welcome to Career Ride. This is Nishant and today's topic is about space complexity. As we know one problem can be solved by using many algorithms. So it's important to learn how to compare performances of different algorithms and choose the best space complexity to solve a problem. Well in simple term space complexity is the total space or memory taken by the algorithm with respect to the input size. Whenever we execute a problem, space or memory is allocated in the main memory for many purposes, such as to store constant values, variable values, and to store program instructions such as function calls, return statement, etc. Well, a space complexity includes both auxiliary space and space used by the input. Now, what is this auxiliary space? Auxiliary space is nothing but the temporary or extra space used by the algorithm. For example, instructions like function calls, return statement, print statement, etc., consume memory when a program is being executed, and the space consumed by these instructions are called auxiliary space. Now, just like time complexity, space complexity is mostly expressed using big O notations. Now let us try to understand with an example. Here we are calculating the square of a number and the function is taking input as a which is in this type and we have another variable as a square which stores square of input value. Now in order to estimate the space consumed by the algorithm we just have to calculate the size of all variables of the algorithm. Now let's assume that int variable occupies 4 bytes so int a will occupy 4 bytes and int square will also occupy 4 bytes now there is auxiliary space as well that is occupied by function call print statement return statement etc so let's assume that these take some constant space as the number of statement would always be constant and will not change so let's assume auxiliary space is 4 bytes so the total estimated space would be 12 bytes. So here no matter what is the value of A, the total memory occupied by these variables and auxiliary space would be same that is 12 bytes. Whether the value of A is 1, 2 or 5, the total space would always be remain same that is 12 bytes. We can also represent this type of algorithm in a graph. So here you can see the line is straight irrespective of input value. Well this type of algorithm is called as constant space and in big O term we express constant space as big O of 1. So for fixed size input the space complexity will be a constant that is big O of 1. Now many algorithms have input that can vary in size. For example an array and in such cases the space complexity will depend on the size of the input now let's see an example here here the size of input can vary like if input array size is 5 the space occupied by the array variable would be 5 into 4 bytes that is 20 bytes and if array size is 10 then space would be 10 into 4 bytes that is 40 bytes now let's assume array size is n. So the space occupy would be n into 4 bytes that is 4n. So it is not constant. Now there is another variable called sum which will also occupy 4 bytes. i variable will also take 4 bytes. And auxiliary space would also take some constant space say 4 bytes. So the total estimated space complexity would be 4n plus 12 bytes. So here you can see the space complexity keeps changing depending on the size of array we pass. Now in big O term we leave all constant part. So we are left with n and can be expressed as O of n. Now if you can see at the graph of this algorithm depending on the size of array the line is linear. So this type of algorithm is called as linear space complexity 
and in big O term it is denoted as big O of n and the space complexity in this case cannot be less than O of n. Alright so that's all for now. I hope you find this helpful.